I so had a quick comment on a story that is circulating through the news. Bernie Sanders' campaign announces it will cut hours to pay staffers $15 minimum wage, prompting mockery. That is the headline according to Fox News. So, of course, there is some bias in with that. And I'm not harshing on Fox News necessarily, but we need to address bias where it exists. So, the key line here, more evidence that Sanders' plan to raise the national minimum wage is hypocritical and would only lead to less work and more unemployment. And I am not somebody that voted for Bernie Sanders. I am not somebody that thinks that his methods to get us to the goal are realistic. But the thing that I have to remember is that we gave President Trump the same criticism when the Make America Great Again hats and other Trump articles of clothing, promotional wear, etc., were manufactured outside of the United States. So he was also assaulted and called a hypocrite for doing these things. And what the, what the counter to this narrative was is that, of course, of course he was making these things outside of the United States because the economic situations being what they are, it is cheaper to produce these items of clothing abroad and to import them back into the U.S. than it is to make them inside the United States. And that, of course, this is why he wants to change policies X, Y, and Z, because it will enable the ease of manufacturing these goods inside the United States, right? So let's extend that same courtesy to Mr. Sanders and say that, of course, he has to abide by a payment system that enables him to pay, be, because he is basically in the same position. He is, he is within the constraints of the current system, that which he is trying to change. Now again, in full disclosure, I'm not necessarily 100% convinced that his approach is going to rectify this situation. But my point here is that we need to extend the same courtesy. It is a good practice for you to extend the same courtesy. What I am trying to personally deal with is my awareness and avoidance of descending into tribalism. I feel like it's always there, right on the cusp, is any temptation to, to descend into tribalism and say, this is right because this is my tribe. But no, we have to practice extending the courtesy to, quote, the other side, because it really isn't another side, is it? We're all sort of in this together. So extend a courtesy to the opposing view. Extend the same criticisms to the other side that were extended to your side. The same exceptions, I guess, would be a better way of saying that. That's all that I wanted to say. A quick comment on that.